All right, what is up, boys? So today we're back with another video. It's gonna be um, an interesting one to say the least, just given the circumstances. Um, I played somebody in a wager, UFC Five wager, for one hundred dollars, and I got scammed. So basically, I played this guy. Um, someone contacted me on Discord about him. Uh, it was a best of seven bantamweight to middleweight, and I thought it sounds good to me. I mean. You know, I'm not doing, you know, I'm, I'm used to doing wagers, you know, $100 is grand. I'm not too familiar with him. I figured he was some sort of an alt account, but I said, hey, it's all good. We'll get into it anyways. So we get into it. I go one up, I go two up, I go. And then by the tour, he starts complaining about block breaking and stuff like this. And I just had a feeling it was going to go wrong. Now, this is the guy here, as I'm saying. But I just want to show you is the last fight. I'll show you the KOs of the first three. And then I will show you the last fight. So let's get to the end of this fight. And then we will we will get to uh, the main event of the evening, which was the last fight. He had no block. He had no head health. Because all he wanted to do was duck into uh, uppercuts. Lean into hooks. And then want to complain about block breaking. Pulled an overhand. Nearly finished me here. By the way, so very scary times, but not allowing it. Fine. Dropped him. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before he got finished. And as you can see, that was true. Get him here in the half guard. But yeah, as I said, his name was Simone Punisher. I'm being told at the same time that he, um, let me check, he also goes by another name. Uh, called Harlem RJ with two underscores. Apparently, this is his old account. Harlem is his main. Harlem RJ, as well as that ruthless underscore Lawler seven. So yeah, weird guy. Um, in the last one as well, you seen he complained about how I played. There we go. The first of many wins here. In the last one, he complains how I played, um, which I found quite interesting, just given the fact that. Uh, yeah, he knee spammed, clinch spammed, and uh, yeah, all of the above. Another mount finish we're about to get here. So yeah, right here, we're 2-0 up, we're thinking. Smooth sailing, first fight very close, second fight also very close. Quicker weights, we're going to take to the more slow down weights. We're going to be able to play a little bit more technical, a little bit more, uh, you know, slowed down. But this man, he, um, yeah. He wasn't very good at all in these weight classes. As you can see here, I am dominating the fight. He didn't have much body health. He had not had much uh, head health. He couldn't really get out of soy control. And soy control is very easy to get out of now. Um, I held him in mount on the MS that it was. He was American. Uh, so, yeah. There we go. Getting some nasty punches in knee on belly here. This is the toward fight to make a 3-0 and head into the last remaining fight, which was welt away so now let's get into this one we're going to show it in its fullest um my apologies let's get into it so yeah this is the main event i said um it had the most in it it was the last fight and it's when he started you know being weird on me but yeah after the tour one i found it quite strange because he was like he was calling me out he was like why are you block breaking block breaking's cheese and i was like uh. i was like if i want my money i'm not going to or try and anger him or be like hey it's not cheese just hold it you know hold that L shit like that don't be too salty I, you know I would have loved to been able to do that but I could not um, he was speaking bad upon a lot of the members of the community as well when I was saying hey would you like a middleman with this guy with this guy he was saying he got banned from ESL for stuff um, he was saying that he wagered GOAT before and GOAT started spamming him and but he was also a Samoan Punisher or GOAT was also calling him a cheese or something like that. And I don't believe that because GOAT was a very reputable player uh, and a good one at that but uh, so I did find that weird off the back. I'm, uh, you know I don't mind GOAT, I even said it because I trust GOAT, he's very uh, as I said reputable. I said hey do you even want to get GOAT to wager because I'd heard he had wagered him and paid up before. Um, so at the start of this I was just trying to find a middleman, see what we can do, but yeah, no, we didn't see him to be coming together. I said, hey, I'll take my chances, maybe the guy is just not too friendly with many in the community, he has paid people, um, from what I was saying, 
So yeah, we'll get into it now, as I've been saying. Half guard ground and pound, that is the story, we'll get into more of it after. But yeah, half guard ground and pound here, just kind of baby punches at the moment, no postured shots. As you're going to see here, we do head into soil control. He wasn't very good at escaping soil control, but at the same time, the MS was not on our side. This fight does get very cheesy. So, you know, if you're lactose intolerant, no, I'm not even going to make that joke. That was horrendous. I apologise, I apologise. Let's get back to the video. Um, yeah, if, um, you know, you're not a big fan of cheese, or you're a big fan of cheese just getting their ass whooped, stay tuned. As you see here, he's even doing undeniables. I, really, I always found doing undeniables, especially on very high MS, where you're already given... Um, you're already given help of getting out of soil control just due to the MS being so high. If you need any more help of undeniables and, you know, negating damage that way, I found that very cheesy. He flips me into backside with a minute and ten to go, but we had been landing knee on belly strike. Or we'd been landing lots of good strikes with a lot of them coming in uh, soil control and stuff like that. So, yeah, we don't want to take too much body damage here and sprawl, so we're able to just pull him down at the half guard and, yeah, see what we can do. Um, he was a big fan of kind of just posturing up in half guard, but we did learn that over the previous fights. I tried to go for an arm bar, definitely a mistake. I made a few of this fight uh, as far as what i done after I got a denial in half guard. Beautiful ground and pound defense by me there though. Um, I had gotten, I, I body blocked my body twice and then I posted once and then I blocked my body again, defending every strike. There we go and we finish on top, finishing strong. So yeah, good round. Round one probably goes to me. Uh, the stats aren't too in my favour because he had more significant foot saying that um, the strikes that he, oh, he had may not have been counted as significant strikes, but they sure as hell done significant damage with the likes of side control knees, side control elbows and stuff like that. Not actually counting as sig significant strikes, but um, as I said, actually being significant strikes. That's why, you know, when I see a lot of people posting screenshots on Twitter and they'll say, hey, this guy only had control time and you'll see that they're, e you know, even enough in uh, total but not even in significance and one guy dominates the significance. I'm always like, there's definitely a lot more to it because there's a lot of strikes in this game that do not count as significant strikes, but they do significant damage, as I was saying. The likes of McGregor's 1-2 being one of the biggest factors. I see a lot of robberies against McGregor players. That one two stings, and if you have low short term stamina, it's gonna sting that much more. But here you go, he's, he's cracking out the side steps. He's got the L knees on point, he's clinching me. Uh, I am punishing him for it though, hitting him with that nasty jab hook of Leon. I just thought Leon would be a good one for this, you know, a little bit of an anti wrestler. He's got the um, long rangey strikes too to be able to kind of keep up with Rachmanov. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to kind of get any of that. I wasn't able to get that off too much. You know, I was trying to land what I could and then move out of the pocket. He was heavy on the counters, as you can see here. Uh, I am kind of getting him down, as you see. Beautiful. I hit him to the body when he was trying to pull. I hit him up top when he was trying to pull. And then um, he tries to hit me with a body knee. I block that and then counter again. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's got a bit of a pattern to him. He's definitely a little bit predictable, but, you know, just got to keep going. He's standing in my face, he's clinching a lot as I said, so as you see me here, I'm uh, letting these combos rip, mostly just short two pieces in the pocket as you can see, whether it be jab hook, straight lead hook, as I told you, he's very, very, very determined to, um, beautiful stuff, I faked it and then hit him with it when he tried to pull counter me, as I said, he's very determined to pull counter, but I'm doing a really, really nice job at just being able to kind of read that, fake maybe the second strike as you see in there, you know, take a take a look at that back, and that's how you can really punish people that are just very counter heavy. You know, unfortunately, he does catch me a couple times, but to no significance really. Um, I was very uh, alert and aware about his counters, as you see later on in the fight. I also land a lot of body strikes. Right now, I'm just hitting him with straight strikes when he's trying to pull back, but also later on. I kind of realise, you know what, I'll start investing into that body too. So when I throw that jab, he tries to pull on the hook or the uppercut. And what all that comes is the body hook or the rear body uppercut. And as you'll see here, they start landing in, uh, you know, bucket loads. As you see, I try that jab, body uppercut, but shove cut very long and rangey. So just out of range, and there we go, getting that 
rock that I was talking about and just being able to hit him with that one two down the pipe of Leon very very good and um, that jab hook into that jab fake rare hook into straight lead hook was a nasty combo pinging him all day long kept very good accuracy that round and landed a lot because I said he's been very predictable with his combinations he's been very predictable with his head movement and his counters and uh, he's there to be hit he's standing on my face so I'm going to punish him for it there we go beautiful tries to take down I don't let him he does block both the strikes but eventually I get a lead body hook off as you can see there you've saying I was spamming jabs but when you're in my face what do you expect me to do you know um, and I wasn't even spamming jabs I was just jabbing them so I can then uh, bite the, get the counter out of them or the attempted counter out of them as you've seen it worked like a beauty all this fight I threw out the jab there fainted the hook came back with a straight lead hook straight lead up cut, jab straight even at times and uh, yeah worked the beauty Catches me in soil control here, does a little bit of damage, um, you know, nothing too significant. Get GA on my own here and just make my way into sprawl as you can now with the new power transition mechanics in soil control. The mechanic isn't new but it's much uh, much improved and you know, now you can do it in all sorts of positions such as soil control and po uh, top backslide. Uh, I do believe it ruins soy control completely. They've nerfed damage in soy. It just there's not enough punishment. If you want to be able to get a soy control and you want to use that power transition, you definitely need to be punished for doing so because you can't just get off freely doing it. I don't believe. I definitely think they need to adjust that. Yeah, here we are doing a lot of damage. As I said, you just I can't see him. You know, you you can't see him making it much longer in this fight with that damage. But he starts getting me down. You know, he tries to bring me to the cage a lot, but I don't know if it seems to be a bug at the moment. You can bring people to the cage and go for that uh, takedown as you usually can. It's not as consistent. You can do it, but I don't know what it is that triggers it. It just seems to be somewhat random. Because as you see in there, he pushed me back up to the cage as much as he could. But I could not do anything about it. There we go. Hitting him with that jab straight down the pipe. Should have been a jab hook. Um, I remember thinking I meant to actually land the jab hook that would have been a drop as you can see just a pull counter after the jab all the time and then he wants to complain about me spamming jabs what do you want me to do straight lead hook straight lead uppercut hook 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 uppercut just so you can get a free counter I don't think so good sword that is not how this game works I'm not going to give you what I want and if you're going to sit there and just beg for counters the whole fight I'm going to punish you for it and I'm going to punish you over and over and over again and that's what I do and yeah he was he had a load of all the excuses in the book I and mean, the cheese are block breaker he said praxis was uh right about all y'all and then he caught a uh, you know he had it all he was a scammer he was calling me all sorts of slurs and uh yeah so he was a real he was the real overall uh, you know uh ufc community scumbag um yeah Here we are in Sprawl now, just trying to secure this win to be honest, we've done a beautiful job to be able to gain this lead I do have, but look at that body health, you know, with all them knees and clinch knees and uh, Sprawl damage he's been getting, you know, I didn't actually get off too much on that round other than kind of the likes of uh, single strikes when he pulled on them, uh, it's kind of like a body versus health war right now, but as you see, I really kind of changed the beat of the fight change the rhythm here and I change that up and don't let it be that anymore and you're gonna see why as I said earlier on in the fight I've been punishing him a lot when I hit him with that faint jab he pulls and uh, now you're about to see I start tagging him to that body as I have been to be fair been hitting him with that jab rare body up a cup been hitting him with that jab um that lead hook in the rear body up a cup as you see I call it literally I'm telling you if people are fucking trying to People are trying to lead hook or people trying to stand in your face and hunt for them counters. You gotta punish them, man. Lead hook, rear body up cut, a beautiful one. Jab hook, a jab into body up cut, a beautiful one. And here we go. I was landing nice body hook into head hook combos. I was landing head hook into body hook combos. I was, uh, you know, there we go. Beautiful as I was talking about. Get the body drop. But I wasn't content here because if he had survived. Um, he may have put us in half guard, I may have had very little stamina, he may have put me in a Kimura and stuff like that. So the risk uh, was high and I wasn't willing to take it. With so much on the line here, $100 obviously. I was 3-0 up and in the driver's seat, but 
why take the risk when you don't need to? So I thought I'd rather kind of instead of trying to get the, trying to kind of risk for the finish and possibly leave myself in a rough position if I do not get it. I thought I'll just increase my lead slowly, yeah. bit by bit by bit by bit. Um, you know, kind of like I said, increase the head health advantage, increase the body health advantage, and just get a bigger overall lead on them. Uh, make them more desperate because when you kind of do these little things like baby punch into the body, baby, baby punch into the head, and um, you'll really notice a lot that your opponents get a little bit more desperate, they get a little bit more obvious, they get a little bit more, you know, quick with what they're trying to do, they're not very patient, and um, yeah, uh, and this being no exception to the rule and um, so yeah I was just kind of as I said securing another body rock there bang catches the teep there I was hoping I jab jab you know jab teep and maybe you try and pull on it definitely not the smartest to be honest and um, but yeah as you said as I say I said I was doing a lot of good work and um, up top when he was trying to counter but now when he's trying to counter I'm doing a beautiful job hitting him down low but he's after getting a body rock I blocked the three body hooks in a row thankfully enough the lead body kick sends me down to zero body health but thankfully enough and um, Leon with that I probably probably 96 and like seven body health hangs on beautiful walk here as well Just hitting him with them shots body up I cut again body up I cut again just trying to get him leaning on it, but he does kind of read our patterns as well. He realizes what he's doing. He tries to duck it there. Uh, he starts blocking them body shots. Bang! Into the knee. As he got a force rock on, he blocked my body shot, went for a knee, body stunned me. It was nasty. So I've really got to be careful on that. I've got to be able to just, you know, beautiful jab, jab into rear hook. Yes. And it just goes to through the body shot there. Should have been a body rock. Possibly the, the end of the fight. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with my decision but also not you know uh, as going for the finish because like I said I could have went for the finish gotten the finish fight would have been over or I could have went for the finish not got the finish and put myself in a worse position he could have gotten himself a Kimura damaged my sta uh, submission bar put himself in a top mount maybe a side control and uh, being just in the dangerous position on top and in control look at a glitch there though he has maximum block and as we've seen he did not have max block so yeah for some reason at the start of this round uh, Shavka's block fully regenerated and uh, I wasn't able to kind of break it through but now he has uh, zero block again it was really strange but yeah just playing it careful um, it's probably 3-1 me so yeah just all about securing the win he's kind of step spamming now back to the clinch we get that takedown denial here. I forgot how good when my head health was. He really just, uh, uh, you know, directed all of his shots down to the body here. Another rare body kick for me. He ducks it. Sadly, it negates all the damage. But yeah, still doing a good job here. Just being able to work it, work the body. Hit him up top as well. Should have that knee should have taken him out. He didn't have a block or anything. And when you're eating two knees like that, you shouldn't be able to survive it with that type of head health. But yeah. An absolute cheese and boom, you know, never gave me my money, it's all good. As I said, I believe it's Har uh, his main account is Harlem RJ, two underscores in there, Ruthless underscore Lawler7, he also plays on. So yeah, bad, bad guy, if ever this man wants you in a wager, do not take it. Bang, bang, bang. Slips a body hook, really annoys me, our body hook hook. One thing that really bothered me about this is just the sheer fact that I would have paid had I had lost and had I had not paid, my reputation would have been down the drain. He would have exposed me, called me a scammer and all that good stuff. Even uh, for uh, knowing well, uh, full well that he would have just done the same as he did. So yeah, for two stones, I am in control of this round. We've got a minute and 50 left. Doctor comes in, pause on the clock. Shavkat saying now I'm ready to fight on, but Doctor taking a look at that eye, nasty, nasty gash just above the corner of his eye there. So probably blood going into his eye, you know, uh, worsening that vision. Shavkat's ready to carry on and see if he can make a comeback in here in the last two minutes. Can he do it? 
Like I said, he's not got much block on his side. Not got much head health. He's not got much stamina. He's not got much body health. But he has Shavkat Rakhmanov, and with that man's power, anything can happen. As you see, I didn't even mean to do that lunge hook. He hits me with a late body hook. Thankfully, I skate out of the way there. Um, so a body, back steps a body shot. Here we are, kind of going to pull wars right now. And, uh, you know, that's not what I want at the moment. When I'm trying to secure the victory, I definitely didn't play it too safe. I blocked his body shots, thank the Lord uh, that I did. Definitely, like I said, didn't play it too safe here. Um, jab, lay body hook. Body kick, body kick, just apparently ghost. Did he block his head? Yeah, it did. No body to his damage to his body. I don't understand it. Yeah, hit him with straight there and nasty. In the last minute here, I'm, or in the last 20 seconds, I'm trying to pop him with straights. Catch him in between his strikes. And uh, yeah, just see what I can do. But body rocks me again. But thankfully, you have to remember, I did get three stones, some body shots in there. Uh, so yeah, let's check it. And we do get the victory. Thank you. God, uh, didn't have to go anymore with this. Obviously, now I only find out I got. I'm not going to get my one hundred dollars. But however, um, you know, a nice set win, a nice video out of. It, I suppose the only thing I can take away because I can't take any money considering the bastard scammed me. Um, but yeah, he was complaining about block break and calling me a cheeser, saying I exploit the game, I abuse it, broke a mechanic. Yeah, he was knee spamming me with Shavkat, clinch spamming me, shot 14 takedowns, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah, there we have it. Scammer, uh, you know, gets his ass beaten. Obviously, don't get my money in the end, but I'll take it. You know, nice little video. Um, but if you have liked, a like would be appreciated. If you have not subscribed, be much recommend that you do so. Appreciate is uh, all watching once again. Turn on that notification bell. And to get notified with all my new videos, my streams, subscriber fight requests, subscriber spares, and all that good stuff. So yeah, appreciate you all for watching once again, and uh, peace out.